In this movie, we're going to cover graphics files. Now, Crystal is fairly flexible in that it allows you to import certain types of graphic images. While it may not have all graphics support, it does have quite a bunch and more than enough to cover your needs. For example, using Report 2, let's go ahead and increase the report header size. Scroll it down, and then we go up to Insert. From here, we can choose Picture. From here, you can choose virtually any type of image file. Here are the ones that are specifically supported by Crystal. Meta files, bitmap files, TIFF, JPEG, PNG, and then there's all files. Now you have to be careful if you choose all files and it's not a picture, then Crystal won't let you import. But for the time being, let's go ahead and choose Doc. You can really choose any picture that you see fit. It all depends on what you're trying to express. Now notice after I've chosen it, I move my mouse and it becomes this huge box. So what I want to do is I want to line it up in the corner and click. The report header will automatically adjust itself to the size of the picture I'm importing. As you can see, it is quite a large picture. Now from here, since it's already highlighted, I can take my mouse to the corners and shrink it or move it as I see fit. If I choose to do this manually, you have to be careful because the picture can then go out of scale. If you're worried about scale and you want to keep the picture exactly it but shrink it a little bit, hold down the shift key while clicking in the corner, making the diagonal opposite direction arrow, and push or pull the picture where you need it to be. Notice how even if I go up or down or left and right, the aspect ratio of the picture stays the same. And I'm going to go ahead and release here. From here, I'll put my mouse back over the picture where it has the four pointing arrows and drag it over here. Notice how I didn't keep my ratio that well. I've kind of flattened the picture, but I can fix it back. Now keep in mind this is good for any picture. I'm putting this picture on here because, well, we had a real bad quarter and I need a picture on my report that soothes and calms people down before they have a heart attack when they see the numbers. Really, it's up to you. Most people just insert logos into the report, logos of either their clients or their company logo. It's really up to you. Working with graphics and crystals a little bit tricky because while you're looking at it, your logo may look really, really good on the screen in Crystal, but the second you export it or try and transfer it to either Excel or PDF, sometimes the picture quality can degrade. It really kind of depends on what type of file it is. A lot of people have good luck with JPEGs or PNGs. I'm going to go ahead and scroll down. I notice how large it made my report header, and I'm going to pull this up to the top. No matter how hard I try and pull it past the picture, of course, it won't let me. I can also push this back up to the top and, again, adjust my section accordingly. Now, pictures are kind of an interesting thing. They can act like any objects in Crystal, so if I right-click, I can say Format My Graphic, and I can suppress it. I can grow it. I can also crop it and scale it as I see fit. I can also reset it and choose a graphic location. Reset's helpful if you're like me and you tried to shrink it and it didn't scale right and you ended up squashing it or making the logo kind of out of sync. Crystal will keep the original size and height and reset it for you as you see fit. You can also add borders to your picture so I can say, well, I need a single line around the entire picture. I can also have a drop shadow among other things. Background really doesn't make a whole bunch of sense in so much as it is simply a picture. I can also hyperlink it, which means that I can attach an email address or a website on the internet when so when people put their mouse cursor over it and click on it it'll take them directly to that site a lot of people use this with their company logos for example I'll choose www.vtc.com and press OK now in preview of course that hyperlink we just entered is not going to work because it's meant for us to play with every time we clicked on it if it took us to a website we'd go crazy in the preview tab, however, you can choose to go to the hyperlink as you see fit. Depending on your export, by simply clicking on the picture, it'll take them to your website, assuming they're, of course, connected to the Internet. Graphics files are kind of fun to play with. If I go back to my Design tab, I can also insert another object, a text object. It'll make this little cross. I'll click and hold down, and I'll drag my text object here, and I'll type in something useful, such as think happy thoughts 
Now that's not too bad. It defaults to black and the background is clear. But I can also highlight my object. This is where you have to be careful. Notice how I'm trying to highlight my object, but it won't let me. Every time I try, it won't quite let me format it. I click on it, but notice it's the picture that gets highlighted. I need you to right click, go to move, and this tells you what gets clicked on first. You can choose to move it forward to front, and then my text box disappears. The easiest way to get around this is simply to drag this over, click on my text box, and say format text. And this time I'm going to go to font, and I'm going to choose Broadway. I'm going to go ahead and make that 14, and instead of black, I'm going to choose white, and press OK. And then I'm going to choose Move Forward. And then I'm going to drag it over. With different graphics, you can do different things. This is just one sample of what you can get away with. In the next lesson, we'll talk a little bit more about the other options we have in Crystal for self-drawn graphics.